I've made a couple of small mosaics here, quite simple ones as you can see. I'm using vitreous tiles, mirror tiles, glass gems, stained glass. I want to see how well the premix grout compares to the sanded grout. So we're looking at how well it goes on, how well it wipes off, how well they clean up, and just in general how it compares. So anyway, let's get into it and uh, we'll see how it all performs. We're back, I have my grout here and it's been slaking for about 10 minutes. I'm just re-stirring it because slaking is very important to ensure that the chemicals all work together. Okay, now I'm going to apply this onto it. Now this is Ladder Creek Sanded Grout, which is uh, definitely one of my favorite products. So I'll just pop that on there. And yes, I'm going to now put it in with my hands. I prefer to use my hands. Some people can use a squeegee of some type, or one of those rubber kidney things that uh, the potters use. Uh, but you're not wanting to scratch the tessera, so I'm just going to rub this in all over. And uh, we'll see how it all comes up. I expect that white backing board to be quite black by the time I've finished. Okay, so we're there. So now I'll just let that sit for a bit, wipe off the excess. Back in our container. Hope my hands aren't getting in the way here. Then I'm going to let that sit for approximately five minutes. I want it to haze over a bit, and then I can use a damp sponge to get the majority of that off, or some people like to use the dry method, which is uh, using no water at all, but I find that using water, it does get into uh, cleaning up the tessera a bit better. So anyway, we'll let that go, and we'll be back when it starts to haze over. Okay, that's hazing over quite nicely. Now I've got a very uh, wrung out damp sponge and I'm going to now wipe over it and what I'm going to do is wipe away not with the grout lines but where you can wipe against the grout lines so you don't wipe the grout out and if you do this very lightly you'll be fine I'll just clean up around that edge get some of the excess grout off not that the edge is important it's just there it's just had a couple of bits of wood it's the right size and I'll rinse that grout out now, out of that sponge. And I'm just going to give it another whirl. And I don't throw out the actual leftover grout. Uh, I'm actually keeping that just until I've finished in case something happens where I do actually pull out a bit more grout than what I want. It's coming across all right. So that's going to be taking off the bulk of it and then I'll let that dry a bit more a bit more and then I'll go in with a rag but I just want to take off that bulk of it and you can go in there with a toothpick as well and take out some of that as well if you want to do that but that's going to be pretty good anyway so we'll come back very shortly once that uh, dries a bit more I'm back and now I'm going to use a cloth just to uh, wipe over it it's hazed over quite nicely a bit further and I'm just going to go against those grout lines so as I don't remove any of the grout out of the grout lines themselves and I'm only going in for a rough clean and and people when they grout will will do it differently I mean this is how I do it but this is not the only way of doing it And uh, I find this works really well for me. This is how I've been doing it for a number of years. Great vibrant rag, isn't it? Let's clean.
clearing it out nicely. And then I'll come back and do a final clean on this as well to polish up, polish up those tiles. So what we've got here is everything nice and clean. I don't have to do anything else to it. The glass gems have come up beautifully. The mirror has come up absolutely stunningly. The vitreous tiles have as well, except for those ones with the pits in. Okay. Okay, on the next one that I'm going to be grouting, this is the pre-mixed grout, and this is the one I'm using, Davco Easy Grout, pre-mixed and ready to use. And I've opened it up. Now I did have to stir it, and you do have to stir it before you start using it, which is actually a bit of a pain, but it's part of the process. So I've actually stirred this up to blend everything together. So I'm gonna just put the lid back on, and then I'm going to now apply it to the mosaic. So that's the one I'm currently using, Davco Easy Grout. Now one of the things you do have to do when you're using this particular product, and I'm not sure whether it's the same with all premixed grout, is that you need a damp cloth um, or a sponge and wipe over the tessera so as it's a bit damp. And I'd, I suppose that's so the grout slides over the tessera uh, you know, rather than just stick on to the tessera. So now we'll open up the grout and I'm going to spoon it on just that much. I don't think I'll need any more than that. Might already be too much. Okay, so we'll put that aside and I'm going to work in with my hands. Now they do suggest using a, uh, a rubber kidney or something like that, but I'm going to use my hands and I'm just going to work it in. And again, working it in to the grout lines. Make sure you get right in there. And it'll be very interesting to see how this compares with sanded grout. I've got a bit much there, so I'll just throw that bit away. And, and once you've rubbed it in, then you wipe off the excess of it and you use a damp sponge once it starts to haze over, similar to sanded grout. We just rub it into all those cracks. And it'll be very interesting to see how this, uh, you know, it cleans up. Now again, you can only do five mil, up to five mil grout lines, so one to five mil grout lines. I would say that it'll crack or sag once you get to 10, 15, or even 20 mil this particular product, and I think it's the same with pretty well all uh, pre-mixed grout, only up to five mil. Correct me if I'm wrong, put it down in the YouTube channel and uh, let me know. Okay, that's pretty good. So I'll just get rid of that excess grout. And you don't mix pre-mixed with water because it will compromise the grout and you'll no doubt get a failure on it. So we'll just wipe off the excess. Okay, we'll leave that. Just clean up the lines there. Try and keep my hands out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we'll come back once it's hazed over. Okay, the pre-mixed grout has hazed over and it's taken around about eight minutes. I've got a very wrung out damp sponge. It must be wrung out. Uh, so we're going to now work against the grout lines. We're just gonna wipe it off. And around. It definitely works differently to the sanded grout, but we'll see how it compares at the end. And you can use this outside, but only if the area is covered and only if the water doesn't pool. So you couldn't use it in swimming pools or on fountains or anything like that because it's really an interior grout. 
not for outside unless it's in a covered area. Like I suppose an alfresco type area, as long as the water doesn't pool, you would probably be fine there as they do suggest. And they also say that this will get a haze over it and after an hour, once the grout has firmed up, that's when we'll do a final clean on it. And we'll have a look at what it's like. Okay. We'll come back shortly and do a final clean. But it's gonna be an hour. Well, not in video time. Real time, it'll be an hour, approximately. But in video time, it'll just seem like seconds. <laughs> okay, I'm back now and I'm about to clean up the pre-mixed grout with a cloth that's been very, very well wrung out. And then we're supposed to go in in a circular motion to clean up the excess or clean up any grout that, that the uh, grout haze is still on there. So we'll see how it all cleans up. Change hand so you can see it better. Mirror looks pretty good. Hopefully that's come up all right. It doesn't require any further cleaning. Looks pretty good anyway. Okay. Here are the two pieces side by side. The one on the left is the Ladder Creek Permacolor Sanded Grout and the one on the right is the Davco Pre-Mix Grout. They both look quite good but let's get into more of the nitty gritty and go to the pros and cons. I found that the sand grout was cheaper to buy over the premix grout. The premix grout, you are paying for the convenience of it. The sand grout can be used inside or outside in residential and commercial applications. Uh, with the sand of grout, you can have larger grout lines up to about 12 mil with the permacolor grout. You can also use additives, colouring, uh, if you need to colour it with oxides or uh, with tinsel. Uh, you can also use additives to create uh, thin set or cement based adhesive with the sand of grout. There's a larger range of colours and certainly uh, the cleaning up for the sand of grout is easier. Uh, now with the pre-mix grout it was a little harder to clean off but not overly harder but bear in mind I would hate to think what it would be like if I left the pre-mix grout on longer. Now the downside to the sand of grout is that you need to mix it with water uh, which is not a big thing, but you know, with the pre-mix, there isn't any mixing at all except to stir the ingredients together. Uh, getting the consistency right with sanded grout, uh, you can generally get it in one go, but sometimes, you know, you might have to add a little more water, a little more grout, and depending on your experience, sometimes people can have several goes at it. But that, that is a downside to it if you aren't that good with mixing grout. And also, if you run out of a mixed batch, you then have to mix another batch, allow for the slaking to take place, and then uh, adding it to your mosaic. Now, each of these three things is not really a major drawback, although, you know, it can be a bit painful if you have to mix a, a, a new batch because you've run short. Okay, let's have a look at the pros and cons of the premix grout. Okay, let's have a look at the pros and cons of the Davco Premix Grout. Ease of use is the main thing. You just buy a tub, you open it up, you give it a bit of a stir, and then your contents are ready to be used. There's no efflorescence, which can be that white blossoming effect that you can get after you've grouted, and there's various reasons why that can occur. Consistency is right out of the container. You don't have to worry about mixing the, um, mixing the grout together with water and things like that and adding a bit more water, or adding a bit more grout. The consistency is right out of the container and you don't use any water with this. Now, there are a few downsides. One is that you can't use additives because it is a formula based and you can't add color to it. You can't add uh, any 
uh, add mix to it to create thin set. There's a limited range of colors. I think there's probably about seven colors. It is indoor use only. You can use it outside, undercover, providing that water doesn't pool. It takes a bit more time to clean up uh, compared to the sand of grout. I could wipe it over with a, with a uh, damp sponge and the haziness and the grout would come off really quite nicely off the top of the tiles. But with the premix grout, it was a little bit harder, but not difficult. Um, but my concern would be is if you accidentally left it on, say for an extra 15 minutes longer, would it be really, really difficult to clean up off the tessera? Now it is more expensive to purchase the premixed, but you are paying for the convenience of it, of being in one tub that you can seal up and reuse again up to about 12 months. Uh, you know, you are paying for that and it is coming at a price, but the convenience is definitely there. Now, the other downside is having to wipe the tiles with a damp sponge first. It is part of the process. It's not a major issue in any way, but you have to remember to do that. I don't know what would happen if you didn't wipe those tiles down first. I would only think that it would be, uh, the, the premix grout would probably cling to those tiles more. Now the Davco premix grout is only suitable from one to five mil grout lines. So if you require large grout lines, then you wouldn't be able to use this product because you could end up with cracking or sagging. Now one to five mil is not an issue for me because most of my grout lines are around about the one to two mil mark. To be honest, I think there's a market for both these products. The Ladder Creek Permacolor Grout is an awesome product. You can use it in wider grout lines. You can use it in wet areas. There's by far less limitations in the sander grout than what there is in the Davco Ready Mix Grout. But like I said, the Ready Mix Grout, there's a market there for that as well. I see that for the person at home that wants to just get a container of it, rip open the lid, give it a stir, and the contents are ready to go. You know, they may want to be uh, grouting next week. They might want to grout in two months time. They might want to grout in six months time. That just means as long as they use it within 12 months, that container is going to be ready for them to use. Which grout would I use in my mosaics? Sanded grout, Ladder Creek Permacolor grout. I want a grout that's going to be very durable and also has a lot less limitations on it. Anyway, let me know in the comments section of my YouTube channel what you think of uh, premix grout if you've used one or you're currently using it or perhaps you're thinking about changing over to a premix grout. Let me know in the comments section. I hope you've taken something away from this video. It's been a bit of fun and I'll see you on the next one. Enjoy.